Hey there everyone, it's Rao Kalbling, Mingo Nex, and today should be going pretty on the easier side, maybe, sentence? Because today, this level is honestly very low on level design, very high in boss refights, so, uh... This should be a good time, no, I don't need to destroy you, I am not that violent a man, uh, And it starts with the destruction of the world, at the very least, a little part of the roof. Alright, Gizmo, that. check out my power of E spark! Well, he's them. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so violent. But look, once you've got dash, you can just like so more easily or jump up your enemies. Also, once he loses his armor, you can actually attack him while he's in his roly poly form. I'm super bad at jumping above obvious things. I don't know why. Don't know why that was happening. I apologize, gastronomic Astro Boy. I think I made you feel like I wasn't taking you seriously, and that was really not my intent. I swear. Uh oh, that was a sneeze. I might have edited out if I remembered. Uh, they're on South Island playing Gemini Jeffrey. See, check out that sweet effect. You go, you th throw a lightning ball and goes pachu like a real lightning ball. Real lightning falls highways. Do it. You know what? I'm just gonna uh, protect myself here in my personal interest. Oh yeah, I can just grab it. Remember when you can. Wow, you guys take like nothing to respawn. It's kind of disgusting. You guys' auto generation is to be commanded. Check out this guy. Remember this guy? He's a guy that can fly and also has a kite. Uh, his ability to kind of, you know, camouflage himself is pretty good. Considering the complexity of the background. Yeah, that's how you get that guy uh, stun locked. It's. This game, the weaknesses are just murder the bosses. It's really sad, and it's why I made a point to fight all the bosses with the buster in the normal game, because look at that. Look at that. Poor dude had no chance. He was just being pushed around left and right. Like, that wasn't killing him. That was bullying him outright. And I will not hear any other way, any other thing. I think next is going to be Gorilla Manilo. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, you can tell because of the roof. The roof is all ropey, so he can hang tight and fly by and make some pancakes for all his friends. Like, look at this guy. He gets literally frozen shut. Dude can't do anything. So it's like, yeah, oh no, you're a nice sculpture, Mr. Guy. Like, what? Like, you know, sometimes I play a game and, like, you can tell I'm not sure if the boss, I'm hitting him with his weakness or not. This is not one of those games. <laughs> Poor dude. I feel so bad. Like, what's the point of even playing a game if you could just mercilessly destroy your enemies forever? Alright, so, I mean, I think it's obvious who the next boy is going to be because, you know, we're underwater. So, obviously, we're going to be going on a fight against Flame Mammoth. Um... So, this one I could cripple, but I'm not going to, it's because, ironically, by just using his weakness, we're actually gonna get a better sense of this whole pattern in artillery. Hey, buddy, you got valves on the size of your head, side of your head, not size. Let's go that attack. See, there's a fish attack that I talked about. It's pretty cool, and he hops around very slowly. See, he doesn't get, like... Like, completely destroyed stunlock by his weapon. It's more that they block his thing. There we go! And uh, if he catches you, you know, get entangled in his loving embrace. And, um, you get a uh, hamster. But, more importantly, he gets healed up. Uh, basically, the damage he does with his tentacles, he gets back. And that, sir, is pretty unfair, I think. The game needs to be rebalanced. That's what I say. I think that if you use the Chameleon Dance to become Chameleon Man, here you get a special prize! Yeah, check it out! You get all these boxes and you skip out on all the challenges. Good time! Only way to roll! Alright, uh, so a lot of people had this special request while fighting a certain Rotunda Pachyderm. Uh... 
you can attack him with a boomerang too. It's like, oh no, my boomerang knows what am I going? Oh, I'm a man! Why? <laughs> That's just so cruel. I hate that I did that. Like, he can, he still has his fire bar, but he can't spin the floor anymore, and he can't throw gas anymore. So all he does is jumps and no fires. But look, look how pitiful he is. I'm a monster! Mega Man, this is just so gross. This is just, I mean, yeah, he kind of looks like he has a mouse head, but no! I'm sure if you removed a trunk of an elephant, it would also look like a mouse, and no one would think it's cute. Uh, here's the boss, by the way. We've got to fight a real boss now. D-Rex, back in action! I remember his name. He's a big robot guy, look at that. He's like, oh, check it out! I move around and I try to smush you. Yeah, see when the bottom half touches a wall. Uh oh. Uh, when the bottom half touches a wall, you fall off. It took me a while to say that. Whoa! You know what? As a child, I remember that being way harder to dodge. Maybe I wasn't very good as a child. <laughs> I don't know. It's a possibility. I think his weapon of choice against him is. Linux, but I might be wrong. Uh, you're dragging me up there against the ceiling, friendo. Don't appreciate that. Whoa. Whoa, my, I'm, uh, not controlling myself. What the? Alright. That's new. Oh, what? That's not what you're supposed to do! And that's how it goes. Like, a part of me is like, no way, you're supposed to use a chameleon weapon, but that wouldn't make sense, because that's the weakness of the prior boss. Like, you don't just give the same, like, weakness to two different guys, that just doesn't make sense. I'm gonna shoot him with it and see what happens. I mean, does... See, that's not boss weakness damage. That's, I mean, it's, it's damage, but it's, it's not damage that you w talk about at the office. Wow, I actually got hit by his laser circle. Alright, so what else could his weakness be uh, other than another weapon? Let's just take a look at them. What is this? I mean, it doesn't really do more damage. Like, I like it because, though, because it's easy to hit him with. So I might just stick to that because, like, you basically just put down a wind tunnel somewhere. And he gets hit by it. Like, that's that's a story. Whoa! Friend, though. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Do I have any, any... I don't have any sub-tanks. And, uh... Yup. <laughs> you know what? I might actually die here. I might game over. Oh, well, I mean, die, yeah. But, wow, dude does a lot of damage. I... Uh, so, spoiler. The, um... I'm almost out. Like, spoiler, the, uh, the, the thing that the armor does, because, you know, the, like, what I'm missing is the helmet and the armor. What the armor does is that it reduces the damage you take by 50%. So you take half damage from everything. Obviously, I've never fought him before without the armor, so I wasn't aware <laughs> he did that much damage. I think I do, my DPS is higher using... My normal gun. I think it's because I try harder to hit him, though. I mean, <laughs> that could be the reason. Ooh, just, yeah, don't... Don't put yourself in a situation where you can get crushed. Like, this is all about fighting smart, not fighting barks. You can't fight barks. That just, like, dog will bark, no matter what. Uh, what are you doing? Alright, just casually hover all over the place. Alright, that's... What? How did that hurt me? No, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Friend! Relax. Relax. Uh... Alright. I'm distressed by how much... Oh, no, but wait! Wait, that didn't hurt me? That's weird. Oh, what? How? No! I mean, you saw beating the level is very easy. It's just, I have to beat the level again. <laughs> Look, in my opening speech, I said that the level shouldn't be giving me any problem. Didn't say anything about the boss of the level. <laughs> Man, just, this guy does just so much damage. He's not that hard. He just does a buttload of damage. He just 
he wants to hurt you. You're, you're, you're gonna get hurt. And those orbs, like, they just... They do not mess around. In a way that is kind of stressing me out. Wow! Really? Okay. Well, I got infinite lives, I think. Not sure. Yes, so everything should be okay. <laughs> Man. Hey, friend. How's it going? But D Rex here is convincing me that um, next episode is going to be a cleanup episode. Because I don't think I'll be able to beat the last boss without more stuff. <laughs> Think, hey, you can do that. That's way safer. Huh. Uh-oh. Whatever, doesn't matter. You know what? I got a bit of the shakes. But who doesn't after a full day of... Then it's no... See, you can do that and take him out. Then he's all like, Ah! Half my face is a dinosaur! Ah! That's, that's what he's saying. I mean, his mouth wide a gap like that, the size of a room. That's totally what he was saying. See, this... I mean, that means that there's another way to dodge those circles. Like, that's what that means. I'm, I'm getting the wrong lesson if my first instinct is like, oh, This is impossible! No, it's not. It's because it's doing the wrong thing, idiot. Alright, I think he's dead. Yo, Market values! They're great, and it tastes something with vinegar. That is not vinegar, whatever that means. So yeah, there we go, it did a... <laughs> that, uh... That happened. This fight, yes, it existed. I have video proof. Next time's the last level, except next time I'm not doing there. We're go is there any level I'm not returning it? I'm not returning here. I'm not returning here. I'm not returning here. Still. So that makes oh, so there's not that much. There's only four levels I need to return to. No, I don't I'm not returning here. There's only th you know what, let's just let's just do it. Look, because we beat the penguin, it's all iced over. Up here is where you get the gun. Of course, like, I already got the gun due to zero. That's where we get it. The capsule doesn't appear anymore. Uh, now that this is iced over, you can go underneath the world and just ignore all of these duders and get the heart at the end, yo. Don't know why all the collectibles are, like, kind of in the same general areas in this level, because we're not done. I'm gonna edit out now, because we're gonna get ourselves our last sub-tank. Uh, remember when I got the one up up here? Uh, yeah, that's where we're returning. Whoa, whoops! Dang it! Jump! Jump! No, no, see, I'm doing this to recharge my sub tanks, obviously. Like, it's such an obvious thing. I don't understand why I'm commentating on it. It's so obvious! Your face is so obviously a face! How can you live with yourself? How did that kill a me tool? I'm not sure. Anyway, here you, you go beyond, you go here and oh man, a knee tank. So some people think you need a helmet. No. Your boots can do the same job as your helmet in destroying walls. Making the helmet even more useless. Isn't that great? When you defeat the octopus, there's another change that happens in the world and it's here. Uh, it floods up, so just, yeah, when you escape unit, you save, you save your gains. Uh, yeah, for some reason, defeating the octopus just floods a little part of the forest here. Now there's water everywhere. I mean, it seems like just like a kind of funny little clever touch, but it is important. Because it fills this place with water. Again, people think you need a helmet, but this is me proving that you don't. You just need the boots to break these these things. I mean, you, the helmet will break them from uh, under, but you're not underneath. Dang it! Woo -hoo! That's how you get this heart. Again, whoa! You don't need to go very... Why you're not dashing? Why you're not dashing? Why are you not dashing? 
Uh, there's another uh, thing to get, and it's right at the start, too. Uh, you go up here. Uh, you go up here, and you go on top of this cliff, and say, like, oh, hey, it's on top of this cliff. And then you're like, uh huh, it's on top of this cliff. And I said, all right, and on top of this cliff, it's like, oh, hold on. On top of this cliff, it's like, ah, who? Oh, no, it's the robot with the claws. Uh, He's pretty strong, like, he has a lot of HPs, I have no idea, he probably has a weakness that I've never learned about, but, uh, that's it. He saw his gimmick, it's pretty great. His, uh, hands, like, you know, they block your shot, so you have to either jump and hit him, or go in between, so you can do a little bit of that. If he, his hand clamps into a wall, he does a little thing, uh, maybe it'll happen here. So he gets stuck, and he pulls himself over. Beautiful, isn't it? That's, that's just art, right there. And yeah, you saw the entirety of this guy's thing. Um, but he takes a while. See when he takes damage, starts smoking. That's a cool touch. But that's that's this is it. He's big, useful, chunky pattern with a lot of variations, though. So I know it's not good. So sometimes he hops, and sometimes he hops. Sometimes though. Throws his hands like, hey, let's have a business agreement. Oh, yeah, and I show that, you know, he grabs you and just toss you on the wall. That's pretty cool. You know, it's like, it could just be doing damage, but no, it actually does damage. Then you gotta wait like five hours, and there you go. Oh, no. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. Oh, they're gonna be protected from termites. <laughs> so, you know, just get less damage. And then you go in the roto scooter and check out a beautiful new suit with like very large uh, shoulder protection. Then these rocks silently get destroyed, and now you wait a weird amount of time for the scrolling to go back. And look at that when you defeat him, the rocks stop falling. That's a nice touch, too. Nice touch. Let's showcase another super weapon. A rolling shield, when used, gives you a shield. Uh, it's one of the strongest shield in the entire Mega Man series because it doesn't wear out and it doesn't use up weapon energy either. The only thing that'll make you lose it is if you hit something it doesn't kill in one shot. It even stops some projectiles. It's hilariously strong. I guess its weakness is that it does an annoying little ringing sound, I guess. And you can't shoot anything else. But, like, whatevs, man. You see, it stops the projectile. It's super powerful. <laughs> I forgot how broken it is. <laughs> oh, man. And thanks to frame rates, you might not actually be seeing or the circle, or you might just see the circle and not see the Mega Man underneath. Magic of television. All right, let's get ourselves the thing I got here to get. There's several ways to get this, but this is the most fun way. Should've gotten rid of the turret, details, you go on your ride, you're like, oh man, good times. I've got a heart beyond the heart of my heart of my heart of hearts. So I don't have anything to get in the octopus stage, but I just want to show off that you see this, this, if you try to use it on the water, it doesn't work. I think even the charged version doesn't work, right? Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's so clever. And you just never see this. Remember way back I started a game when I tried to just jump off of here? Uh, well, if you dash jump, you get up here on top and get the last heart of the game, I think. Assuming I'm not, like, forgetting anything. Now we're gonna be getting the last thing I'm missing, literally the most useless upgrade in the whole game. You can just use a gun here, but fire makes it go a lot faster. The helmet! Uh, you take no damage from the stones in the cave and chameleon stage, and it's necessary to get the blaster upgrade in the flame mammoth stage. But since you can get the blaster upgrade automatically in Sigma 1 anyways, this is basically literally useless. Some people think you need it to break the sideways rocks, but I went out of my way to show that you just need the boots. So, yeah, uh, good job. I can break some si Oh boy, that's... Thanks, Doc. Oh, I guess you can break these blocks too. That is uh, pretty important. That <laughs> that's so dumb. So dumb. Like it's like, oh boy. All right. Like you know, you see that first time. Like, hmm. I wonder what gameplay opportunities that will lead to. None. 
There are no gameplay opportunities linked to this. Forever. So here's a fun thing. This guy, either he gives you nothing, or he gives you a 1-up. It's one or the other. <laughs> so if you need farm lives, this is where you go. Oh, I guess can get these with the helmet. That's... Sure. I did it! I got the health! That's a very beautiful waterfall, I have to say. I did it! That's a beautiful waterfall, I have to say. I did it! That's a beautiful waterfall, I have to say. What? I did it! Oh, hey there, Mr. Karate... Mr. Karate Light. How are you doing today? Alright, doesn't give any more detail than that, but I like your cosplay! <laughs> That's such a silly thing. And there you go! Get yourself the ultimate weapon! So, yeah, there's a condition to this, but if, you sell, if your health is full and you're a normal Mega Man, if you do a Hadouken motion of, you know, quarter circle forward attack, he does a Hadouken. This thing instantly kills almost everything. Uh, not everything in one shots, but like, basically everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna use it against the last boss, because that's just cheating. But yeah, you do need to have collected everything before you, that appears, then you die a few times, and at some point, Louis, Luigi just wants to show off his cosplay of Dr. Light cosplaying as Ryu. It's pretty impressive. I have to give him that.